Senior basketball player Megan Wagner has had an amazing basketball career. For the past three years, she has started as point guard for the Comets. But after a major surgery in her offseason, Wagner, who is used to guiding the team on the court, will now have to focus on guiding the team from the sidelines. So end of May, I was uh, diagnosed with thoracic outlet syndrome, which is essentially where you have all your nerves, veins, and arteries that run from your neck area. They go under your collarbone, over your first rib, down to your arm. And so what would happen for me was whenever I'd raise my arms out to the side or above my head, that rib was actually compressing all those veins and nerves. After getting signs of blood clots, Megan eventually had to get surgery. First, back in June, they did the left side, and then mid-September, they did the right. They go in kind of at the side of my neck, and they clip each side of the rib and remove that first rib out. I'm hoping, as we'll kind of see how physical therapy goes, but I'm hoping to make my return somewhere in January, mid-January, towards the end. Obviously, we have a young team. We have seven freshmen, handful of seniors, handful of juniors. So I've uh, actually been very fortunate to have the opportunity to play on varsity all four years. And so with that, I kind of know the ropes of everything. And, um, you know, people don't understand all the times the, the difference between playing eighth grade to playing against juniors and seniors in high school at a varsity level. So my job is to kind of help those young players, you know, help bridge that gap of uh, difference in playing levels, whether that is, you know, helping them throughout day-to-day -day practices or in-game situations or just being the biggest cheerleader. Back actually starting freshman year, me and two other seniors at the time started an annual fundraiser to raise money for cancer kids and pediatric cancer research. So it's called This Is Our Fight Game, and the past three years we've been able to raise uh, just over $30,000. So I think, you know, if we are able to keep carrying that game over every year and, you know, have that game, you know, continue and grow and grow and raise more money. I think uh, that would be a really cool way to be remembered and carry on the legacy of Liz Lothrop, who unfortunately was taken from us from cancer a few years back. I don't really think uh, this injury has, you know, put me back from my post high school plans. Um, I was fortunate to commit to Western Michigan back in January. So my coaches have been beyond supportive throughout all of this, which has been such a relief and so amazing. So I'm looking forward to uh, going up to Kalamazoo next year. And, um, you know, rehab's going to be tough, but I, I believe I'm going to get back. So I'm excited to see where, where it takes me. The Western Michigan Commit hopes to return in time to give the Comets a push in the second half of their very tough schedule. Even though she'll be watching from the sidelines, there is no doubt that Wagner will continue to put her teammates in a position to succeed. I'm Hafsa Malik, NBC Sports.